the most powerful and the most banworthy Yu-Gi-Oh card right now in Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel. Konami, you need to do something about this card now. Without further ado, let's begin. What is going on, YouTube? It's boy Sam from Team Samurai X1. Happy Wednesday! You guys already know what this video is about. I'm going to showcase you guys the most problematic Yu-Gi-Oh card. One card that's in your extra deck. One card that's taken over Master Duel. And in my opinion, he's the most unfair Yu-Gi-Oh card ever made. This card is so powerful that Konami needed to ban this card in the TCG. Basically, imagine a Yu-Gi-Oh card that says your opponent can't summon. And a card that says unaffected by everything. Guys, let me give you some perspective. There are four main cores of Yu-Gi-Oh! Gio. Summoning monsters, activating spells, activating traps, and using your extra deck. All these four primary things are used to try to reduce your opponent's life points to zero. What if I told you that you remove all three of those things and you just have literally an extra deck left? Basically, whatever you do with monsters, spells, or traps, it does absolutely nothing to this card. This is why Konami needs to ban this card immediately in Master Duel. Higher up in the ranks, everybody's playing this deck, and it's really really problematic guys this card is so powerful that usually when it comes out on the field your opponent instantly scoops what does scoop mean it means they they surrender they instantly surrender so technically 99.9999 percent of the time when this card touches the field you're more than likely going to win the entire duel anyways before we get started with today's video here is the winner of the previous Master Duel giveaway. You see that? Please email me at giveaway at tx1.com to verify your account. Let me know what region you're in and let me know what gaming system you play on so I can give you guys the correct codes for whatever system you play on. Switch, Steam, Xbox. I don't know anybody who plays Xbox. PS5, PS4, you name it, anything. And in today's video, I'm also giving $50 worth of free gems to one lucky winner who is one, subscribed to the channel, two, who likes the video, and three, who leaves a comment in the comments screen below on what cool, crazy gimmicks you guys want to see next in master duel let me know guys i love challenges i love doing things that are out of my comfort zone and i love to tackle new master duel ideas for you guys yesterday was the final destiny board win condition that was so fun for me to do and that's pretty much it all right guys enough talking without further ado let's hop into master duel and send people to the shadow realm with the most problematic card that konami needs to ban right now here we go all right guys here we go Konami will ban this card right here, right now. I'm going to showcase you guys how powerful this card is and how oppressive this card is. Without further ado, guys, here we go. Any hand will give you guys this card. I'm going to show you. Here we go. It's time to duel. Ooh. All right, guys, this hand is absolutely phenomenal. So right here, right now, we're playing Phantom Knights, and you guys already know that we're trying to summon Rongo as quickly as possible. Once we get access to Rongo, we basically win the entire duel. The goal for this deck is very, very simple. Get two level threes out, get two level fours out. You know what that means? So once you do that, you get access to Rongo Bongo. And here we go. This combo is insane. So first and foremost, we're gonna go emergency teleport. Okay. We're gonna activate we're gonna activate E Telly right here. We are gonna special summon, of course, a psychic wheeler directly from the deck. Very amazing. And now what we can do next is that we can actually activate Reinforce of the Army. And right now, what we're trying to do is get access to Cherubini. Cherubini is a very powerful card, which we can easily access. And once we have access to Cherubini, everything is just basically fair game from there on in, okay? So now what we're going to do is that we can easily... Let me see what, what we need to search. We can easily search... Hmm. Yeah, we can add Cloak directly from our deck to our hand. And now what we can do next is that we can Normal Summon Torn Scales. Okay, we can activate Torn Scales effect. Very, very awesome. We can send Cloak to the Graveyard. All right, it looks like he has no hand traps here, so, we'll, so we're pretty much lit. Let's send Gloves to the Grave. And now with these two cards right here, very, very simple. This combo is very easy to accomplish, guys, okay? Get access to Cherubini, and then you pretty much have game. All right, guys, so you summon Cherubini right here. So summon Cherubini, very, very awesome. Now what we're going to do is that you're going to activate Cherubini's effect. Very, very powerful. We get to send, of course, Graf to the Graveyard. And once Graf is sent to the Graveyard, we get to activate Graf's effect, which lets us special summon another Burning Mist monster directly from the deck. So when you use Graf right here, you're going to special summon Seer directly from the deck. Really, really simple. And now what we're going to do is that with Seer, with Seer and Cherubini, very awesome, we get to summon, of course, Rusty Bardish. Usually when Rusty comes out, it's pretty much just game over. And I'm going to showcase you guys why this card is very, very oppressive uh, right here. So summon, of course, Rusty Bardish. Now we're going to activate Sears Effect to revive back to Cherubini. And this is a 100% instant win all the time right here. So, of course, summon Cherubini. 
And now we're going to do is that we're going to activate, of course, the Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardish. The fact we get to basically send, you know, we can send, okay, let's send, let's send Boots to the Graveyard. And then we can also set the Shade Burgundian right here, which is very, very awesome, okay? So now what we're going to do now, since we already established this board right here, our number one goal next is to summon Gossip Shadow. And Gossip Shadow is a very powerful level three monster. And how you easily summon Gossip Shadow is by using two level three monsters effect, obviously. So first, we're gonna activate, of course, our Ancient Clothes ability. We get to banish the Ancient Clothes from the graveyard. Okay, very awesome. We get to search the boots directly from our deck to our hand. This card gives us an additional summon, which is really amazing. And of course, once you banish a card, while Torn Scale is in the graveyard, Torn Scale will get its ability to dispatch them itself back from the grave, which is really, really good. So summon, of course, Torn Scale right here. And now, we, and now what we get to do is that we get a special summon boots. Okay, since we control a Phantom Knight monster. And now this is really awesome because now with these two cards, we get to make Gossip Shadow. And Gossip Shadow is a very powerful XCs monster that this deck utilizes very, very easily. And what it does is that it gives Rongo Maniac right there, more materials so that way that your opponent cannot do anything. Uh, which is insane so gossip shadow and also this card protects you from getting hand trapped as well because what it does is that uh once per turn when an opponent's monster activates effect quick effect you attach two material from this card the attack the activated effect becomes both player draws one card you can target an exceeds number monster you control attach this card and its material to rongo right which is absolutely amazing so now we get to do is that we get to activate of course the phantom knights of shade burgundine it's a free special summon which is amazing since you have no traps in the grave now we get to activate stained greaves effect in hand Special of yourself to your side of the field and also increases level by one. So now Stain Greaves is a four. Shade Burgundine is a four. Now we're gonna do is that you're gonna summon Rongo Mania right here, which is absolutely insane. Summon Rongo Bongo right here. And Rongo, and Rongo once it comes out, the most oppressive Yu Gi Oh card I've ever seen in my entire life, okay? So summon Rongo. And now once Rongo comes out, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna activate, of course, our Gossip Shadows effect, which is insane, to attach all its materials to Rongo. So now Rongo has five. And what happens when Rongo has five? Cannot be destroyed battle, gains uh, 1500 attack, unaffected by other card effects. Your opponent cannot normal summon your special monster. Once per turn, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls. So now you have Rongo, which literally locks your opponent from special summoning, which is insane. And now we get to activate, of course, our boots effect, banish itself from the graveyard. Now we get to add fog blade directly from our deck to our hand, which is absolutely amazing. Now what we're gonna do is that we get to set the fog blade and also the Forbidden Drop. We also have Boots in the Graveyard as well for the following turn, which is really good. Now we're just going to end our turn right here. Literally, your opponent cannot do anything now. The most oppressive monster ever. Your opponent cannot normal summon or special summon monsters, and it has five materials, right? If you if this card would have one more material because it needs to detach material, oh my god, Outledge the Golden Lord. <laughs> this, might, this might not be the greatest map. Oh, Numerons. Numerons. <laughs> um... That's fine. He can send... Bro, he can send Rusty to the grave. I'm, I'm cool with that. He's, not, he's playing Numeron Eldritch. He can't even do anything. What cards is he going to summon against Rongo? Rongo is one of the craziest monsters ever released, which is why I love this card so much. And I believe Konami should ban this card immediately. Um, honestly, against, you know, against this matchup, Rongo might not be the greatest because we're playing against like a semi-trap deck. But we're playing against Numerons, right? So Numerons we can easily, easily beat. Uh, with Rongo, right? So whatever he tries to do, we pretty much have the situation set up. Even Twin Twisters won't do anything uh, to him right now because he's going to be unable to summon anything, right? So he can Twin Twister us, do whatever he needs to do. Doesn't matter. Rongo prevents your opponent from summoning everything. So, okay. So Curse Ellen is fine. He can burn his life. He can set a Conquistador, set a Sanguine. It doesn't matter what he does. Send Eldritch to the graveyard. Eldritch will not be able to do anything. And honestly, surprisingly, this card is really good against Eldritch because he can't, he can't summon Conquistador, Hakuero, Golden Lands. He can't summon anything. He can't even summon the Golden Lords too, uh, which is insane. And it's also unaffected by effects. Not only can your opponent can't summon anything, is that it's unaffected by other card effects. So even Golden Lord can't even send it to the graveyard. So he can set whatever he needs to set. That's fine. He has a Twin Twister face down that's honestly i'll be more than happy if he's able to use twin twister he can study a monster but right now he's about to get otk like 100 percent. there is like right here look we detach a material from rongo because we need to during our opponent's end phase and the material that we get to send to the graveyard is an extender so look at this we have stained greaves and we also have torn scales and a boots so we get to send boots to the graveyard uh, sorry we get against tor we, we get to send torn scales to the graveyard for follow-up and we have red gloves in the graveyard and now this is pretty much just game over no matter what he does he can't summon he can't, he literally cannot do anything. 
And Butter Shogi is why it's so, so powerful. Also, Cherubini has amazing ability to send cards to the graveyard as well, which is insane. And I'm going to showcase you guys right now the follow-ups that this deck is able to produce if your opponent were to just pass. Because usually your opponent were to scoop, right? Against a monster like this, like, why play through it? This is why this card is banned in the TCG. You guys know that, right? This card is forbidden in TCG for this reason and this reason only. And uh, that's a Twin Twister set. We already knew that's a Twin Titty. It's completely fine. But right now, we get to activate, of course, our Cherubini's effect, which is awesome. We get to send a level 3 monster to the Graveyard. Level 3 monster we can easily send is, of course, uh, the Ancient Cloak, which is a free dump. And now we basically get to pummel off with our combo plays right here, right now. And I'm going to showcase you guys everything that's about to go down right here. So first and foremost, let's 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 do surgery on this board. We need to dissect our opponent's board like we're a surgeon. We're going to, you know, pickpockets the board, destroy everything, and then it's pretty much a game. Okay, so we're going to activate, of course, right here, Ancient Folk's Effect. First thing we do, banish yourself from the graveyard. We get to search, of course, the boots directly from our deck into our hand. So search boots, okay? Boots is great. It's a free summon, all right? Now Torn Scale gets to trigger off its effect in the grave. Activate Torn Scale right here. He should scoop, to be honest. There's no way he's beating us uh, right here, okay? Uh, special summon, of course, Torn Scale. Very amazing. We don't even need, we don't even need to utilize Torn Scale's effects because we don't... We actually don't have to, uh, right? Uh, but what we can do... No, why not? Let's just do it. Let's just go Fog Blade. Send Fog Blade to the graveyard, which is really awesome as an additional extender. Now we can also dump the Phantom Knight's wings to the graveyard. So we have more Monster Reborns to help pickpocket this guy's board. Now what we're going to do next is that we can actually activate right here. Uh, wings effect in the grave. Banish wings from the graveyard. Special and Rusty Bardish to our side of the field, which is absolutely insane. So summon Rusty. And Rusty, you guys already know, if a Dark Seas monster is summoned, we basically get to pop cards in the field, right? So now, look, like you guys will see. So Rusty comes back, follow-ups are insane. And then now what's going to happen next is very simple because we get to use uh, right here. We also get to use Rusty's bar like Rusty's effect if he needs to. We can just set more cards for interruptions right here. Uh, we can just send this to the graveyard. We can also send another Fog Blade. And if you were to Twin Twister this, it's completely fine, right? And the follow-ups are about to be crazy right now. So now this is our board. We get a special, of course, Boots. Right here, special in Boots. Okay, and now we go break sword, and now we're about to go literally surgery one by one right here. So boom, boom, summon this. Cool. Break sword comes out. Rusty will trigger off its effect. Uh, we, we know that's a twin twister for sure. We can just pop this monster. It's probably just like a very useless monster that's not going to do him anything. It, yep, it's trying to pathfinder. It's completely fine. And now what we can do next. This is already game, right? 2000 this is, this is already game there's no like we can do other things we can go of course like into like unicorn play and stuff like that access code play we have a bunch of plays going for us right here right now uh but we can just enter battle phase this is already more than game right so battle phase right here you can't summon anything wrong with maniac attack for game 3000 okay boom that's a twin twister we know that because he searched off the prosperity it's fine boom 3000 right here rusty attack and this is to be game and this and this is already game and of course let's let my boy Sherbini do the final blow here we go crazy do you see how our opponent couldn't do anything he's playing a numeron otk deck right our opponent could not do jack nothing this card is problematic guys this is why this card is banned in the tcg rongo bongo here we go you guys saw how devastating the first duel is now the second duel is about to be the exact same here we go guys here we go Rongo Bongo. Platinum ranked. Here we go, guys. The deck is so powerful, guys. It's very oppressive, man. Konami, if you're watching this video, can you ban the card? You know what I'm saying? Just ban it. Just ban it. Why not? Konami, just ban it, please. Just ban, just ban it one time. Just one time, just ban it, and you're you're pretty much good. So, we have everything. Silent Boots, Psychic Wielder. We're pretty much good and lit to go. We got Call by the Grave, too, for that Maxi. You know what I'm saying? But even through Maxi, I actually want to challenge it, actually. If he does have a Maxi. I kind of want to challenge it, actually. I, I do. No Maxi. Okay. I kind of want to challenge the Maxi, to be honest. Because I want to prove to you guys that Maxi does nothing against Rongo. Let's see. Oh, nothing. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's go. Let's wish. Let's wish us nothing but the best, guys. Here we go. Cherubini. Activate Mr. Chair. Cherubini's effect. Send Graph. Here we go. Activate Graph. We'll target Cherubini first, gain 500. 
Indy a thousand, of course. Impermanence. <laughs> he he impermed Jeremy. Guys, this is why we need to have a rank ladder on Master Duel because people don't know what they're doing. Like a hundred percent, people do not know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Like I, I I'm convinced that people don't understand how Cherubini works because Cherubini is a cost to send to grave. So this guy just wasted impermanence for absolutely no reason. Ash Blossom, here we go. Okay, we need to stop that Ash. Like I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna make sure that Ash does not go through. I'm gonna banish Ash. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, ladies and gents. Here we go. He's probably gonna, just, he's probably just gonna scoop at this point. There's no point of playing. Like 100%. He's probably just gonna scoop at this point. Unless he has another hand trap. If he has three hand traps, you're the best Yu-Gi-Oh player in the world. Like I 100% like mean it. If you're if you have three hand traps in your deck, you're the best Yu-Gi-Oh player in the world. Hands down. Cherubinian's here. He probably has Nibiru too, maybe. If Nibiru comes out, oof. Like he's just the best player ever. Of course, here we go, Rusty Bardish. Rusty. All right, cool. Activate, of course, Seer's effect. We get to back, you know, activate Seer to revive back Cherubini from the graveyard. He probably has the beer. Like I, 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 I feel it in my bones. He has Mr. Nib right now. I, I feel it. Whoa! Another imperm. Three hand traps. Three. Like at this point, I'm just convinced he's the best Yu-Gi-Oh player in the world. Like there's nothing else I can possibly do at this point. Like at this point right here, I guess I, I think it's best to humbly just banish boots right at this point. We're just gonna uh, grab, uh, you know, fog blade. And then we have fog blade and shade and then we just hope for the best like at this point like he literally has three hand traps there's nothing else we can possibly do at least we can set up you know in the gate right here uh with the fog blade and have rusty right here and the follow-ups and the next next turn is about to be ridiculous and we also got maxi right so he's playing with two cards in hand he's gonna draw a card he has we have a maxi in our hand uh let's see what happens but yeah this is why we need to have a rank ladder next turn i'm gonna try to summon rongo bongo 100 thousand percent and trying to just rongo him immediately that's our goal for this video guys showcase you guys how powerful rongo is obviously there are going to be hands that you need to play through a bunch of hand traps if he had another extender i'm 100 sure we could possibly play through them but right here playing against the fan like mirror match this is actually very very amazing so and I'm your match is pretty cool. He's gonna activate his card's effect to ditch a card to the graveyard. We have Maxi and we also got Fog Blade. So there's I'm pretty sure he's not gonna be able to break through this board. 100000 percent Ooh, the graph. He discards graph, and I don't think this is the, the correct play. Because Graph is gonna be able to summon Seer from the deck. Seer automatically dies. Provide back to Graph, and then Graph just dies, right? So I don't think there is like an, an absolute point right here for him to. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's oh he's oh he's not gonna use graph's effect at all. Uh, that's fine. He's gonna search. He's gonna search boots directly from the deck to the hand. Okay. He's gonna uh, once he search boots on resolution. I'm going to maxi him. Just maxi him. I know the exact line of play, guys. Yep. Special boots. He's gonna link these two to the graveyard for Cherubini. Cherubini's a cost. He's gonna send Seer to graveyard. The special and Graph. Graph will come out. He's gonna try to make Rusty. That's fine. We draw a card. And look, I'm, I'm literally going to call his line of play. He's going to activate your beast effect. Send Seer. Seer effect. Revive Graph. Graph. Uh, yep. Send Seer. Revive Graph. Exactly what he's going to do. Yep. Watch. Watch. Yep. Revive Graph. He's going to make Rusty. Yes, sir. Activate Seer. Revive Graph. Yep. Oh, he knows I have Fog Blade, right? So I don't know why he's playing through this. That's fine. Ash Blossom. Woof. Over these two make Rusty. He does have Fog Blade access though. So this is going to be a pretty... No. Like, the, like I actually win this in the long run. 100,000%. Uh, he's going to activate Rusty's effect. I'm going to Fog Blade it. Here we go, guys. Here we go. I'm going to Rongo Bongo him next. Ash that. Ash that immediately so he doesn't get access to Fog Blade. I'm good with that. Rusty's gonna activate its effect now, and we're gonna activate, of course. We're gonna activate Fan Light Fog Blade, and we're just gonna. We're gonna go in, guys. We're gonna go in. Our follow ups are gonna be ridiculous. Literally ridiculous. Like, literally so good, our follow ups. Wait, wait, what happened? Wait, how do you get to add that? Oh, I Ash. Oh, called by the grave. Oh my god. Called by. Yes, Sam. Oh, Sam. Sam, 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 Sam. Sam. I called by his ash, so my ash is negated. So, 
Sam, 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 Sam. Please, Sam, please. Yes, Shade. What can he possibly do at that point? Ah, oh, cannot believe that happened, guys. He doesn't have boots access. He has Shade Burgundine. That's fine. He can summon Shade Burgundine. Um, over, I guess, sets one. And that's pretty much it. He can go Shade. Yep. Rhoda. Wow. No, but he already summoned thing, though. He, he already summoned boots already, so. He already summoned boots, though. There's no other extender he can summon. Like, what? Like, what is there? Is there an extender I don't know of that's a warrior? That's a level three? That can just freely summon itself? When it comes to our turn, we're going to Rongo Mania at him right here, right now. Yeah, okay. We're good. Oof. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's Rongo Bongo him right now, guys. Here we go. Rongo Bongo. Ooh, we got Snack too. Snack is really, really awesome. Here we go. All right, guys. We're going to Rongo Bongo him right now. All right, guys. We're going to activate, of course. Uh, we're going to activate Torn Scales. Not Torn Scales. I mean, of course, Shade Burgundy. Ooh, Shade and Shade. Okay, okay. I like that. Okay. Shade and Shade. Okay. Okay. We're going in. Mirror match. Here we go. Shade and Shade. And then Stain Greaves will trigger. Okay. I like Mr. Stain Greaves. Yes. Change the levels. Now, what we get to do is we get to make Rongo Maniad. Boom. Boom. Make Rongo Bongo. Rongo Bongo! Activate Rusty's effect. We get, to we get to target his own Rusty. So we send our own Fog Blade to the graveyard. Now we get to, of course, no more Torn Scales. And then we can just activate Torn Scales effect. Just send more extenders to the graveyard. We don't have to do this. But we're just going to do it anyways, okay? We get to send, of course, Ancient Cloak to the grave. Okay, Snake is going to activate its effect. Summon Snake to our side of the field, which is really great. Cool. Summon Snake. And now, right here, right now, it's about to get intense because... Mr. Rongo Bongo right here. We're going to make Gossip Shadow. There you go. It's game. So, like, it's in, this deck is insane, guys. Like, even going first, going second, it can OTK. Going first, it can play through a bunch of hand traps. He had three hand traps. At least we're still able to set up what we had with the cards we had in our main deck. I think this deck is just absolutely amazing, man. It's so, so powerful. Rongo is just so, so good. All right, guys, here we have it. This is my Phantom Knight Rongo deck list right here. The entire goal of this deck is to get access to two level three monsters and two level four monsters. And when you have access to that, you basically make Rongo Mania right here, which basically says, cannot be destroyed by battle. Gains 1500 attack, which makes it 3000. Unaffected by other card effects, which is unfair. Your opponent cannot normal or special summon monsters. As you guys saw with the Elledge matchup, this card destroys Elledge. Once per turn, you can destroy all cards your opponent controls. Going second, this card is a... Uh, it's, it's not monsters or spells. It's all cards. You're all. All. A-L-L. -L. A double hockey sticks, baby. Okay? Take the L. Anyways, this deck is super duper easy to play. And it's also relatively budget as well. But this is the deck list that I have for you guys. Basically, if you have a way to get access to Cherubini. Okay? And you have one extender. You basically have game. Honestly, I kind of want to play tour guide in this deck. I don't know why Tour Guide is on in this deck. I feel like it's a really great normal summon. But Tour Guide does have its flaws. It can basically get hand trapped and you can, uh, you know, it, it can get hand trapped and it can stop you from your plays. Nonetheless, man, we have cards that extends like, you know, Psychic Wheeler, Psychic Tracker with e Telles and Jackalope, Suchinoko. I think I might consider putting in Tour Guide into the deck. But, anyways, here's the deck list Max Seas, Graph Seer, Go Solger for the e Telles and also another hand trap. Two Cloak, three Boots, one Gloves, three Ash. Ash is really great too. Ash, Psychic Wheeler, full combo with an extender. Jackalope, Snick. We got, of course, Wheeler and, of course, Tracker. We got, of course, Stain Greaves. This card is level 4 monster, which can easily come out to get you access to Rongo Mongo. Next, we got, of course, uh, Rongo Dongo. Rongo, Rongo Bongo. Help you get access to Rongo Bongo. Next, we got, of course, right here, Phantom Lights, Torn Scales. Absolutely amazing. Get ditches all these cards to the graveyard. So you have more extenders. Harpies, Feather Duster. Draw this against any back row deck. You automatically win the duel. Rhoda. Two Itellis, two Call by the Graves, three copies of Droplets, the Wings, 
the Shade Brigandine, and of course, three copies of Fogblade right here. So basically, the deck is absolutely powerful, I think. It's one of the most competitive decks in Master Duel right now, and if you climb up the ladder in like Platinum 2, 3 range, and Platinum 1, you're going to see a lot of people playing this second, because it is an easy win going second, especially since the format, a lot of people are forcing you to go first. So if you can go first in this deck, you can e easily win. Going second, you have 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 cards to help you combat going second with droplets and maxis and gold soldiers and ash these cards are really great especially forbidden droplets uh synergizes really well with this deck and the reason why it synergizes really well with this deck right here is because it relies on cards being in the graveyard you can send cards to the graveyard to negate monster effects you pretty much win the duel so against drytron boards you can easily break their boards with droplets at the same time beating your graveyard with extenders the droplet absolutely insane for the extra decks of course the utopia package you know of course the draco future is amazing to levy near one copy of brick sword i didn't feel like i needed a second one i don't know gossip shadow we got of course downer magician rongo bongo zeus cherubini phoenix ip unicorn rusty bardish and of course access code talker to round off for all the cards i'm playing the extra deck so i think this deck list is absolutely insane it's perfect i think it's really fun to play and there are so many other cool decks I can play Rongo as well. Try six Samurais. Can also abuse this card like No Tomorrow. And yeah, man. It's been a really fun deck, man. So, so fun. This deck is absolutely fire. So, I recommend you guys trying this card out for yourself before this card gets banned. Kiara Master Duel. One of the craziest cards ever released, man. Rongo, I believe, needs to get banned immediately. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up button. It'll be absolutely amazing. And be sure to enter the free contest where you guys can get $50 worth of free gems. All you guys got to do is be subscribed to the channel, like the video, and turn on the bell. And leave a comment in the comments below on what decks or cool gimmicks you guys want to see next. I want you guys to challenge me, okay? That's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for more awesome Master Duel content this week. This is your boy, Sam, from Team Giants. Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace.